What's that? Hi, this is Andrew Brock. Okay, I'm going to show you one of our big boogie boogie secrets. It's the the fill that goes right in the middle of Swanee River Boogie. So I'm going to break that down for you now into a... The way we're going to learn it is just the... So if you think of it that way... Always play the left hand chord first because that will bring you in. And when you've got used to playing it that way, that's just to get the steps right. The fingering exactly as I'm playing it. Now comes the more difficult part. We need to put in the trip, the um little trill there. It's a little triplet. But we need to play it so fast, so it's go up first and then down fast. Sometimes if you spin your hand a little bit, if you twist your arm a little bit like that as you're playing it, then you'll find it's easier. So how are you doing with that? We'll go slowly. Doesn't matter if you have the pauses in there at the moment. It's better to have the pauses there and take them out afterwards, I think. So then we can go. So. stage actually. It carries the chord for that. Just at the point when you get that chord, it, it'll leave the, it will actually leave the chord ringing whilst you find the top notes. You just remember to take it off afterwards, we don't play boogie woogie with the pedal very often. to show you. So what am I doing there? It's all on the G chord. So you've gone down to the G. You've got to get this timing right. It's Okay, how to make it better. I would start with the introduction. So, 
We could take um, a Referee Jones type version, which was an um, amazing thing to do. Turned it into a very... Put the pedal down, play your A minor. If you don't want to do the very slow, kind of singy one, you could actually double up. I don't hear anybody doing this, but sometimes the introduction just sounds a little bit weedy. to teach and they're a great way to start to learn big Woogie. So um, what would I do now? Um, I think we've got to do the solo haven't we because that is the really cool part. Um, this is the Albert Ammons solo to Swanee Wariffa Boogie is probably one of the best Boogie Woogie solos in, in entirety of time. It's one of the reasons I learned Boogie Woogie so let's see if we can do it some justice at least. the start. just to go afterwards. That leads you into the change of the chord. That's brilliant, isn't it? That is. That's the next little bit, which is a little trill. That's pretty much the 
same. It doesn't have to be the one. And then another cool bit, which we go rather unexpectedly to this F on the G chord. So.